Carlos Ghosn, as always, thank you very much. So there's a lot of talk here about new technology, but just, just describe for me, what's it going to be like when I get behind the wheel in 20 years' time? Well, new technology for the car industry, uh, you know, I say that we have three main trends coming for the next years. First one is about zero emission. Obviously, talking about electric car, we're talking about fuel cells. Um, the second one is the autonomous drive. Uh, and the autonomous drive that means you're in the car, you know, you're still in the car, it's not the driverless cars, uh, is you're in the car, but you, you are empowered. You can drive whenever you want, you stop driving whenever you want in a very safe condition. And the third one is the connectivity, which means that you can do in your car what you are capable of doing today in your office or in your, uh, in your house. These are the main trends of the technology that are going to transform our product. And how excited are you about this? What's got you most excited? I'm very excited because in a certain way this is going to bring more people to the cars. That means we know that in many countries young people are less interested into the car. Now when the car is going to become a mobile personal space which is connected, it may attract young people. Second, a lot of people uh, because of their the impairment that come with the senior uh, people uh, stop driving not because they want to stop driving because they are not able to drive well autonomous drive is going to allow senior people with impairment to continue to drive at later stage of life which means they're going to give them the satisfaction of being mobile and at the same time these are new customers for the industry so all these reasons make this technology make a lot of sense on top of that we're going to make time more pleasant in the car for those who are capable of driving today and what about in terms of jobs? There's concern that robots are taking people's jobs. Yeah, frankly, I think um, it's very difficult today to say what's going to be the outcome in terms of jobs. There are some things which are favorable. There are some things which are unfavorable. Um, I, I don't buy the idea that robotization is going to destroy jobs because we have been automatizing a lot of things, uh, standardizing a lot of things. We destroy jobs from one side, we create jobs from the other side. So, and overall, we have had this tremendous growth. So, but it's difficult to predict. It's difficult to demonstrate. Uh, you can say, okay, what are the things going in one direction and what are the things going in the other direction? I still think that overall, it's going to favor growth uh, of the economy. Even though for our own industry, it's very difficult to say five years, ten years down the road, what's going to be the outcome. And finally, just one, one question now on the emission scandal. Now, we know that 15,000 cars have been recalled in France. How concerned are you that this could blow up into a bigger scandal? Yeah, look, uh, th there are uh, so much confusion on the emission uh, story. And, and allow me to come back to some of the fundamentals so we don't confuse the public. Uh, the first question about emission is, is there anybody cheating? Okay, is there any device allowing a car maker not to show its real performance? And in the case of Renault, the answer is no. It's not only Renault saying no, it's the French government saying no, there is no cheating device. So we cannot put all the companies in the same bag. The second one is, does the cars respond to the norms? The, uh, the norms are established, they are official. These are norms on which cars are homologated. And clearly the answer is, all the cars of Renault are homologated, they correspond to the norm. Now, the debate is where there is no norms. It's yes. what is the performance outside the norms. Because there is no norms, it's very difficult to say what's wrong, what's right. And that's why we are asking with the European community, please establish norms where you think it matters for the consumer so we can all say we are in the norms or outside the norms. That's the situation. Carlos Ghosn, many thanks indeed. Thank you.